So a mammoth day three will kick off with the Cesaro. It's then one of the most famous long distance handicaps of the season and part of the autumn double. And let's take a look at the field. First part of it was last week, of course, that was the Cambridge shit. And Lady Zephonic is at the top four. Graham Clutterbuck, Tampa Bay General, Vinnie Gerard, Such Fortune, David Hooley, Desert Hobo, Craig Beckwith, San Jose Water, Vinnie Gerard, Maiden Brumaire. David Robertson, Clara Amazon, Graham Clutterbuck, Infinite Prospect, David Robertson, Validation, Joshua Sutherland, Cab Rank, Stu Gray, Hit the Reset, Padre Hogan, Immortality, Satyam, Winks, Dan Hughes, and David Coverdale for Martin Lee. I'm so 14 then. And this just a one turn. Ready to go, start in one county, finish in another. And off they go, a little bit slow out was David Covered. I'll hit the reset, was also ponderous, but up the top end, it's Tampa Bay General. That's going to be the first one to show. And Tampa Bay General has got over to this rail and leads, but it's quickly usurped by immortality and just tucked in behind them. Validation pulling for its head. Those three have pulled three lengths clear off David Covered. They've got over that early, slow start. Then comes Lady Zephonic and hit the reset. Winks is widest on the track, but no more than four wide at the moment so no great concerns there especially with just the one turn coming up in this race a little bit later on it's Tampa Bay General that leads in from Immortality in second Validation is third gap of two or three minutes then back to um, Ladies of Phonic on the inside of Stablemate Clara Amazon then after that one is hit the reset David Cordell Winks and San Jose Water a bit of a gap to the grey Maiden Brumaire and on the wide outside Cab Rankin Desert Hobo with looking towards the back now Infinite Prospect just about the back marker but it's Tampa Bay General who leads as they make their way down New Market Heath and it's Tampa Bay General in the lead. Immortality is in second and Validation is back in third. Then comes Lady Zephonic and hit the reset and David Coverdale after that one and then Clara Amazon Zinc. Uh, sorry, Winks is still wide on the track and then San Jose Water. There's a little bit of a gap after them to Such Fortune, Maiden, Brumaire, Desert Hobo, Cab Rank and finally Infinite Prospect. The second of David Robertson's two but Tampa Bay General leads by length as they take this one turn in this race then and uh, leads by length to Immortality in second, gap of two then to Validation in third, Lady Zephonic is four and hit the reset, five then David Coverdown, Clara Amazon Winkies, Winks is still running patiently around the outside with San Jose Water just tucked in on that one's inside there's less than ten furlongs to go now and it's Tampa Bay General who's been in the lead all the way leading by a length to Immortality in second, then comes Validation in third Lady Zephonic is four, hit the reset five, David Coverdale six, Winks seven Clara Ramsey eight, then Han Jose Water after that one, Maiden Brumaire the Grey is creeping a little bit closer so to his such fortune, Infinite Prospect is still the back marker they're inside the final mile now and Tampa Bay General still has it but only by a neck to Immortality in second Two length gap back to validation in third. The top white lady Zephonic is next in fourth. Winks is creeping close around the outside, then hit the reset. And David coming out. San Jose Water after that one. Clara Amazon just lost its place a little bit, being challenged now by Maiden Brumaire. But the lead has now gone to Immortality. Immortality pokes its head in front by a bat ahead. Then now, then Immortality, but immediately fighting back is Tampa Bay General. Winks and David coming out, coming up the center of the track. Violations under pressure, so it's hit the reset. And Lady Zephonic's also. Hit a bit of a flat spot. San Jose Walters trying to come around the outside. Maiden Brumaire is making her way through the field nice and slowly. But it's Tampa Bay General in front still. Four furlongs to go from Immortality in second. Now on the wide outside. Maiden Brumaire comes through the challenge. Ladies of Phonic getting going again. Then Winks and David covered our San Jose Water. Clara Amazon. One or two from the back trying to get into it now. Such fortunes trying to run on. So too's Cab Rank. But it's still Tampa Bay General down on its near side. Tampa Bay General by about a length to Maiden Brumaire. The Grey. In comes Immortality. Clara Ramos and San Jose Water. Ladies of Phonics after that one. But it's still Tampa Bay General. Two furlongs to go. Tampa Bay General by a length to Clara Ramos in second. Maiden Broom out the center of the track is third and still making ground. Why there still is stable mate in front of Prospect and that one's going really well. But down on his near side Tampa Bay General. Furlong to go. Tampa Bay General still in the lead. Here comes Ladies of Phonics. Right over on the far side in front of Prospect. Also San Jose Water. It's almost four in a line after two and a quarter miles but it's in front of Prospect who looks the stronger. And Infinite Prospect is Babana head in front, fighting back with San Jose Water. But it was the David Robertson horse that took it. The William Post is camouflaged in amongst all those, all those fans there. And it's a head win for Infinite Prospect. 
who was making ground all the way up the centre of the track and takes a thread in Cesaro. So Infinite Prospect, the winner for David Robinson. San Jose Water for Vinnie Gerard was second. Ladies of Phonic Ground, Clitterbock third. Tampa Bay General for Vinnie Gerard was fourth. And Desert Hobo for Craig Beckwith ran on to be fifth.